Coming up on Look Today, well, after an exciting local election cycle, the results are in. I've got details. And the Wolfdorf Astoria in Gainesville seeks funds for its building restoration project. More on that coming up. And we've got statewide election results. I've got those details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Margaret Vosper. She's the Chief Executive Officer for Adirondack Health Institute. And she's here to talk about the services they provide and their unique vision for providing health care. And I also sit down with Amy Hughes. She's a program coordinator for the Saratoga County Veterans Peer Connection. She's here to talk about the importance of connecting veterans and helping them in need. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, after an exciting local election cycle, the results are in. Well, the Democrats of our local region convened at the Inn in Saratoga last night as they patiently waited for the results to come in. Now, the anticipation was high. However, everyone there remained pretty optimistic. When we spoke to Peter Martin, he's a supervisor for Saratoga County. Well, right now we're having a uh, party to uh, celebrate the election and what's going on with the election. The uh, Democrats in Saratoga Springs have spent a lot of time, a lot of effort uh, to make sure that we get uh, our candidates uh, well represented, well heard, uh, and uh, I know that we've had a really good turnout at the polls here in the city and I'm pretty sure um, throughout the county uh, of voters, uh, So, and that's, that's really important. Now, Kerry Werner defeated her Republican opponent, Chris Boyark, for the 113th Assembly District, and we spoke to Kerry before the victory. My expectations are it's going to be a long night, uh, but I feel very confident that we're going to win. Congratulations, Carrie. Now, the Assemblywoman was the area's favorite, and she won by a considerable margin, 52% to 40%. Now, also president of the party was Sean Francis. He ran against incumbent Republican Kathy Marchion for the New York State Senate seat, and we spoke to him at the beginning of the night. The campaign for me has gone great. We couldn't be happier where, where we are tonight as we're waiting for the results to come in. Um, I had a great team of volunteers and staffers that have really poured their heart and soul into this race. We had a great uh, team of uh, 20, 25 students from Skidmore College that has been working on this campaign for the last several weeks. Now, Senator Marchione defeated Sean Francis by a big margin. It was 57 percent to 33 percent. Now, we're going to have more on local elections after we take a detailed look at our weather. So let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. And back to more election news. Now, while the Democrats awaited their results, the Republicans convened at the Queensbury Hotel in Glens Falls. Now, some of the local region's top representatives were at the event, including Senator Betty Little and Assemblyman Dan Steck. Now, incumbent Congresswoman Elise Stefanik won the 21st Congressional District for the second time in a row, and she won by a big margin, receiving 63% of the votes, defeating Democrat Mike Derrick by 92,000 votes and Green Party candidate Matt Funicello by over 152,000 votes. Well, we spoke to Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. Uh, we're excited to win all 12 counties. That is pretty tough in this district. This is historically a swing district, so to win by such resounding margins in both 2014 and this year is a testament to the hard work. It's a testament to keeping good on my promises and my record of results. So I'm pretty excited to stand here today and say that we're likely going to win all 12 counties in this district. Now, in other races in Warren County, New York State Senator Betty Little defeated her only opponent, who was Green Party candidate Steve Ruzbacki. It was a huge margin, 87% to 12%. Now, leading up to the election, Green Party candidates seemed hopeful. However, ultimately, they did not prevail against some of the area's most influential representatives, Assemblyman Dan Steck. 
defeated Green Party opponent Robin Barkenhagen, 83% to 16%. And for Warren County Family Court judge, Republican Ted Wilson defeated Democrat Rob Smith by a smaller but decisive 52% to 47%. Now, at the end of the program, we will also show you more election results across the state. And I want to offer congratulations to every one of the winning candidates and also to the contenders, because from our position here at Look Media, everyone put up a really credible fight. In other news, well, we received information about a story we covered back in June. The Wolfdorf Astoria on Route 50 in Gainesville was heavily damaged by a fire, and now they're seeking to restore part of the building that was lost. The business, by the way, as inherent in the name, specializes in providing boarding space for dogs. They are also seeking from the community funds to help make the restoration a possibility. So if you wish to help, you can make a donation at GoFundMe.com for Wolfdorf. And that is a play on words for the Waldorf Astoria. It, however, it's spelled W-U-F-F-D-O-R-F, Wolfdorf Astoria. And we're going to have a follow-up on this story when we speak to Jane Countermine. She's the owner of the business. That's going to happen tomorrow. Now, up next, I sit down with Margaret Vosberg. She's a chief executive officer for the Adirondack Health Institute. She's here to talk about the services they provide and their unique vision on providing health care for those less fortunate. Plus, I also sit down with Amy Hughes. She's a program coordinator for the Saratoga County Veterans Peer Connection. She's here to talk about the importance of connecting veterans and helping them in need. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Uh, just a, a lookout comment about the elections. You know, I've been a student of politics my whole life. I've never seen a national election like this. It was impossible almost to follow. Uh, I received a lot of emails, some phone calls uh, from viewers and from friends. And it's going to take a while, I think, for the country to adapt to, regardless of who got elected for president, to adapt to the change. But uh, I really hope we do. You know, that's really the heart of the democracy is when we all pull together. All right, now tonight on Look TV, it's a Saratoga City Council meeting. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. And instead of our usual closing tonight, we're going to roll out a lot of data about the elections statewide that we think you'd be interested in knowing about. Good night, everyone.